Physiological changes in pregnancy are the normal adaptations that a woman undergoes during pregnancy to accommodate the embryo or fetus better. They are physiological changes, and they're entirely normal. These changes are cardiovascular, hematologic, metabolic, renal, and respiratory. The body must change its physiological and homeostatic mechanisms in pregnancy to ensure the fetus is provided for. Increases in blood sugar, breathing, and cardiac output are all required to make this happen. Pregnant women also experience numerous adjustments in their endocrine system. Levels of progesterone and oestrogen, which is mainly produced by the placenta, rise continually during pregnancy, which suppresses the hypothalamic axis and consequently the menstrual cycle. Women also experience increased human chorionic gondotropin, which is also produced by the placenta. This maintains progesterone levels, which is initially produced by the corpus luteum, and later by the placenta. This hormone relaxes the bronchiolar smooth muscle. Elevated progesterone levels also contribute to an increase in minute ventilation to 50% more than non-pregnant levels. Prolactin levels increase as the mother's pituitary gland increases in size by 50%. Levels of adrenal hormones such as cortisol and aldosterone also increase. Human placental lactogen is produced by the placenta and stimulates lipolysis and fatty acid metabolism by the woman, conserving blood glucose for use by the fetus. It can also decrease maternal tissue sensitivity to insulin, resulting in gestational diabetes. During the course of pregnancy, blood volume slowly increases by between 40 and 50 percent, and this increase is mainly because of an increase in plasma volume through increased aldosterone. This rise results in an increased heart rate, stroke volume, and cardiac output. Cardiac output increases by about 50 percent, mostly during the first trimester. The systemic vascular resistance also slightly decreases because of smooth muscle relaxing and overall vasodilation caused by elevated progesterone. Diastolic blood pressure consequently decreases between 12 and 26 weeks and increases to pre-pregnancy levels by 36 weeks. If the blood pressure does become abnormally high, the woman should be investigated for preeclampsia and other causes of hypertension. Cardiac functioning is also modified owing to increased heart rates and stroke volume. A decrease in vaginal tone and an increase in the sympathetic tone is the cause. Blood volume increases to amplify stroke volume of the heart via Starling's law, and after pregnancy, the change in stroke volume is not immediately reversed. Cardiac output rises from 4 to 7 litres in the second trimester. Neuromechanical adaptations in pregnancy refer to the change in gait, postural parameters, and sensory feedback because of the numerous anatomical, physiological, and hormonal changes that women experience during pregnancy. Such changes increase their risk of musculoskeletal disorders and injuries because of falls. Pregnant women fall at a similar rate, 27%, to women over the age of 70 years, which is 28%. Two-thirds of falls are associated with walking on slippery floors, rushing, or carrying an object. The root causes for these falls are not well known, however some factors that may contribute to these injuries include deviations from normal posture, balance, and gait. Most of the falls, up to 64%, occur during the second trimester. The body's posture changes as the pregnancy progresses. The pelvis tilts and the back arches to help keep balance. Poor posture occurs naturally from the stretching of the woman's abdominal muscles as the fetus grows. These muscles are less able to contract and keep the lower back in proper alignment. The pregnant woman also has a different gait pattern. The step lengthens as the pregnancy progresses because of weight gain and because of changes in posture. On average, a woman's foot can grow by more than half a size during pregnancy. In addition, the increased body weight of pregnancy, fluid retention and weight gain lowers the arches of the foot, further adding to the foot's length and width. The influence of increased hormones such as oestrogen and relaxin initiate the remodeling of soft tissues, cartilage and ligaments, and certain skeletal joints such as the pubic symphysis and sacroiliac widen or have increased laxity. The addition of mass, particularly around the torso, naturally changes a pregnant mother's centre of gravity, and the change in COM requires pregnant mothers to adjust their bodies to maintain balance.